All right, I know it's backwards, but I'm going to give this a try and see how it sits on top of gloss. And then we'll put the gloss on top of the lippy stick. You know, we'll just have six layers of products. No different than any other day. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Wago Warrior, aka Julie, and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. Wago stands for when you get old. I am 54 years old, love and enjoy makeup, skincare, doing product reviews, beauty hauls, and unboxing videos. If you have stopped by because you're curious what I picked up in my latest ColourPop haul, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. Okay, so it's a few weeks past Memorial Day weekend. I had four days off and there were sales galore going on. So what do I do? Pick up more beauty products that I really don't need in my life. But you know what? I'm a sucker for a good sale and I love makeup. So it had been a while since I had shopped ColourPop. Um, as I mentioned, it was a few weeks ago. I don't remember exactly what I got. I do remember I picked up some of their um, Color Shock eyeshadows and the rest is a mystery whatever's in here is gonna go on my face all right so there she is lovely let's grab the first item and see what I got all right so this here is ooh this is the super shock cheek in the shade lunch money and I totally forgot I got I already put a bunch of uh highlighter and uh, cheek products on my face but you know what I'm still gonna test this out oh I hope that's a good it's very peachy let's do a swatch oh look at that just put my finger in it and it left an indent and that's what it looks like much softer lighter than I thought that is two swipes okay do you use your finger or a brush let's try a finger as I said I already had a bunch of products on my face so I don't know how much this will pick up but Got a little chunky chunk there. It's very soft feeling on my finger and on the face. Very nice. Okay, what else did I get? All right, so I got a Super Shock Shadow, and this is in the shade Frog. I like that name. That's a pretty pinky color let's do a swatch it's right there Ooh, that's gonna be lovely all right what else did I get okay I got another super shock this is from raw beauty Christie's collab with color pop and it is in the shade Olympic it's a little topier color right there these are super soft so I don't know how well they will pick up but they are lovely okay so we have a gloss product this is Lux gloss in the shade ticklish Ooh, that's a really really pretty color it's a peachy nude oh yes this has a lovely scent. It's kind of sweet, but not too sweet. Let's see if it's sticky or not. Does not seem to have a taste? Because sometimes when they smell really sweet or have a scent, you can taste that, which I don't like. It, I'm, it's not sticky, 
It's a little thick, but not sticky, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's a lovely shade. Okay, next item. We have a Lippy Sticks in the shade Fab. Probably should have put this on before the lip gloss. Here's what the packaging looks like. And it twists up. Let's do a swatch. That gloss will look lovely on top of that. All right, I know it's backwards, but I'm going to give this a try and see how it sits on top of gloss. And then we'll put the gloss on top of the lippy stick. You know, we'll just have six layers of products. No different than any other day. I like that. It's got a nice shimmer to it, but not glittery. I like having a soft shimmer. Okay, well, let's just add some more products. Very lovely. All right. And now on to the last item, which is the Cherish Press Powdered Palette. That's like a tongue twister. Press Powder Palette, Press Powder Palette. Say that five times fast. That is the color story. It's almost like the Natasha Denona Peak Palette had a little mini baby. Let's do some swatches. Look at how well they swatch. Those are some pigmented shadows. I just went in one time and got that color payoff. But let's see how they perform on my eyes. All right, be right back with the eyeshadow on my lids. thoughts so my first impression this is a lovely little palette this shade here is way more pigmented than it looks like so soft hand there this is a fantastic overall um, crease shade I'm quite pleased um, the super shocks tend to work better with your finger than with a brush However, with the finger, they're a little, I don't want to say patchier, but it's hard to blend it without disturbing what's already on your eye. And I was having trouble getting, like, it looked good on this eye, and I was trying to match on this eye. But um, I'm super happy with my purchase. And you know what's the saddest part is I went to their site to purchase um, some eyeliner so I could tight line, and they were sold out of the black. And I still need some eyeliner. Let me come back and finish with some eyeliner so we can get a complete look. Okay, what are your thoughts? I think it's quite lovely. Um, I love a palette this size. It reminds me 
a lot of the elf, um, I think there's only four colors in those little elves palettes, and then also the Natasha Denona Peak palette, very reminiscent. These are great to travel with, love the color story, love how there is a great all over the wood, three shade, a little deeper shade, and several kind of shimmery shades, and then a really nice inner quarter uh, shimmer. I am pleased with my purchase. Don't recall what I spent. I'm gonna list on the screen the grand total of what my haul included. I'm hoping I got some good sale items. Don't remember, but there you go. All right, let me know the last time you made a ColourPop haul and or wore um, ColourPop I look. Um, it's fun. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't done so by now, I would love for you to subscribe. For those who have, thank you. Remember to hit the bell icon so that you're notified of future videos. And I, it would mean the world to me if you would click the little guy down there. It looks like this. Um, clicking the thumbs up really does help with the YouTube algorithm, which will help my channel grow. All right, thanks everyone.